yourself. My name's Kenny. Lucky enough to fish with Ollie today. Let's get it. What's the game plan, bro? Just do whatever Mr. Oliver tells me to do. <laughs> That's it. Well, uh, Kenny, like many people can relate to, has uh, had his struggles on this infamous body of water here just outside of LA. It can be a tough nut to crack, but uh, we've been on a little bit of a bite. I've had a few opportunities on the big bait as you guys have maybe seen uh, from the past few days I spent out here. We oh, right there. Oh my God. I just got ripped. That was crazy. I said I turned around right when it, right when it was coming up. That thing, oh, that thing crushed it, bro. And I don't know how I missed. Oh my gosh. But it came from like over here. That's freaking GoPro that isn't working. I just got my shot. <laughs> oh. Bro, it's... Like a oh. pounder. It's a nice yeah, fish. Yeah, that'll do it. Hey. Nothing to sneeze at. Oh. And the way they're built. Ooh. Oh, what? Get him! <gasps> oh, my God! Dude, throw that bait back in there. Throw that bait. Oh, you gotta stay oh, focused. No. Oh, dude. That was a big one. Bro. That was a big one, homie. I'm like, does he have enough milk? Because he was just f***ing on it, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That's the same thing that just happened to me. Bro, that was a big one. <laughs> that was a good fish. We've had some uh, nice two to four pound class fish uh, eating shad, shallow, believe it or not. You guys will not believe this. Look at this. This is January and there's busting bass on schools of, ba of bait. Look at this. Look at this live scope. That's nuts. Look at them all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you guys kidding me? Wow. That's dope. See, the problem is when they're focused on that small bait like that, though, they're probably not gonna take a swipe at a big bait. They're keyed in on that size and that profile. But check it out, guys. You can see the shad right on the surface. Fish are actively busting through it, but we're gonna keep fishing through. See what happens. Wow. A little bit more exciting than ice fishing back at home? A lot more exciting. <laughs> you cast me, they're right in front of us. Yeah, they're all over the place. Oh gosh, look at that. Those thread fins are like two inches long. Yeah, they're babies. They're from last year's hatch. Oh gosh, he just died. <laughs> what was that? A bass. That one that surfaced through looked like it was about three or four pounds. Oh, they're good fish. You could see the bellies on them. Look at this, it's kind of hard. I want to put the camera down to catch a fish but this is such an odd event oh my gosh see that ball of shad and look at all the bass hunting underneath them dude this is wild all right i might have to put a jerk bait rod in the boat tomorrow yeah. <laughs> this is crazy uh, cool fact of the day kenny you once uh, competed in one of those halftime shows at a Laker game, right? I sure did. Tell me about that, man. What happened there? Well, you know, you got to take chances you get your given. So we uh, went to a game, ended up getting selected to go do the halftime show. So, you know, Toyota puts on this thing where you dribble around the cones, make a layup, make a pass through a tire, and then uh, you finish off shooting layups or free throws or three-pointers so I figured you know 
best way to get points after you make the pass. If you make it, you get double points. So I you was know, just shooting layups. And at the end of the day, I ended up having the most points in the beginning of the season. And I'm coming back for the finals and winning a car. So, you know, I'm really, really lucky to have that. And it worked out for me. Thank you so much, Toyota. Yeah, shout out to our friends at Toyota. And like, how cool is that? Like, Kenny and I actually play basketball together still. And uh, he's responsible for my gimp ankle. He's, dirty. he's a dirty player. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but you know, as you guys see, he's rocking the Lakers gear, man. And it's his, uh, what, day, day two? post Kobe so it's kind of hit him pretty hard it's hit me really hard more than uh, either one of us could really imagine it would so we're gonna talk about that a little bit and how uh, that man's influenced our lives and believe it or not how that that man's influenced my approach to fishing so stay tuned it's a beautiful day we're gonna try and uh, get get a big one for Kobe uh, what's your PB Probably about five. oh okay here we go, we got a shot today. <laughs> Aim high, dream big. Stay tuned. You like that bait more than the head now? A thousand percent. How so? Or why? Well, what do you know about this bait? I don't, I haven't, I mean, I haven't been doing any of that shit, so. Well, number one, it's a lot of Huh? It's a line through number one. Right. I don't know how much experience you have with the HUD, but you lose most of them when a fish shakes its head. Right. Above or below the water. I've not lost a single fish that I've hooked on this bait. And that's why I like it more than the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Right on cue! <laughs> that right Fuck. there is why, <laughs> my dude. Look at that on the back hook too, man. <sighs> See, that's that doesn't exist on that other option. Yeah. Dude, he he nailed it, bro. Slow sink, just creeping it. Look at that bass dynasty. Wow. That's a beautiful fish. That's the biggest fish out of this lake I've caught in years. Really? Yeah, it's gonna be in the sevens probably. Look how short and stumpy and big its head is. Dude, it looks kinda <laughs> weird. You look kinda weird. I know, well, I'm not as big and fat as that thing. How dope was that? Right on cue. <laughs> right on cue, bro. Oh, she got a pretty side or ugly side? Nope, it's just both ugly. She's just ugly. Did you fuck up its mouth. Sick. Cool. Yep. Little beep. Uh, look at this one. What a beautiful pre-spawn fish. This is for the mamba, man. Maybe close to, uh, I don't know, calling it an eight would be probably pushing it. It's a beautiful seven pound fish. But uh, first large mouth of the year for me. Look at this thing. Here's that line through system that we were just talking about. Got her on that trailer hook. Popped her right out. Oh man, what a beautiful fish. All right, that right there is just a beautiful thing, man. Isn't that cool? She's a little beat up probably from being caught by someone before. I'll throw in the libel, I'll throw a little libel treatment in there and let her uh, recuperate a little bit and see if we can get another good one. Huh, what do you think, Kenny? Let's do some technical stuff with that fish. Right, you asked me a legit question. And I answered it to the best of my ability. Until you couldn't. L literally. Uh, didn't have time, yeah. I mean, literally to the best of my ability. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, so, um, Got the first good fish of the, in the boat, batting a thousand percent right now. Uh, Kenny's pretty inspired to throw a big bait around. So we've got a moderate sink Defiant 210 actually. This is gonna plow through some of this uh, sparse cover pretty well. 
but we're rigging these baits right now with just the, the single or double single hooks on top because we're fishing it through cover. Then it keeps it really fishable and the moderate sink actually fishes pretty well in the shallow stuff too. It's just going to be creeping along at a, a little bit faster pace. It'll fall faster. But this is the light trout color. One of the big things that uh, I really believe in if you watch some of the videos that uh, I'm sorry, if you watch some of the sequences where D-Rock and I missed a couple and Brian Freeman and I actually missed a couple, I was not using Bass Dynasty. I really feel it's key to get these fish to hold on to these rubber baits, especially once they actually commit to eating them. And once again, I don't feel like it makes them bite, but what it does is it converts those rare opportunities of when these things are getting bit and it gives you that much more time to detect the bite and uh, get a proper hook set like that one. Like that, that couldn't have gone any better. So we've got a Alexa 400 here, the slower gear ratio, six, three to one. Uh, I've got a little bit shorter rod. Actually, no, this is actually on the Onager. This is a seven foot 11. So Kenny's gonna be able to uh, make both long casts and kind of like short flip pitch style casts in and around all this cover. We've got some tulies, you've got, uh, some submerged terrestrial brush. Then we got a big mud flat. And uh, we've got big bait eating largemouth here in Southern California in January. So here you go, buddy. Have fun. What's going through your mind right now, man? Tell us about sure. the struggle. Cause everybody outside of Cali swears it's easy out here. This is probably the hardest way to catch a bass in the world. <laughs> but hey, just saw it in my, front of me. So <laughs> while I was asking the right question, and it's awesome. Stoked. Heck yeah. Time to get one. Yeah. Feeling pretty confident? Oh yeah. That's what's up. Visualizing it, huh? Yeah, that's right. All right, man. Get a PB already. Hurry up. Cast. <laughs> chop, chop. What are you waiting for? Is this just like it, it comes in and this part's like a little cut or what? Point the rod tip right at the bait. You feel that thump, swing. Nice and slow. This is where I would use that power pole. You're, you're on the bottom for sure now. Oh yeah, wait, 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 keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was still dumb. I totally saw that bite. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah. You guys are always wondering like, oh man, we don't have fish that size here and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that's a nice little two and a half, three pounder. Look at that. Nice. Dude, you stuck them good. Sick. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was cool, man. That was textbook. Nice, man. Kenny. Yeah. What's good? We are on the board. Second fish of the day. Mm hmm. How many uh, bass have you caught on the big swim bait? Not too many. Okay. 
the style of fishing it a little different? Yeah, a little different. Okay, let's see how good this guy was hooked. And we get those comments about, oh, we don't have fish that are big enough to eat those things. Well, look at that. You nailed him perfectly, bro. Good hook set. Thanks. Yeah, pop it off. Throw him in the well. Let him swim with his girlfriend. That's a clean fish. Yeah, it is. I was watching that bait just bounce, 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 bounce. Boom. <laughs> that was classic. <sighs> so Sick. cool. What are we living in there? Oh, you got a friend now. Shout out to the bass wizard. These are okay to wet, right? Yeah, not really, but it's alright. <laughs> awesome. Talk me through it. What, were you, what, were you, what exactly were you doing? that sequence oh uh, you know I was fine I fired it out where Oliver said and then uh, scraped along the bottom after a while started hitting more rocks as soon as it hit a rock it popped up and then dunk set the hook I just I can guess myself for a second did like, you did I am I supposed to yeah oh you got to hammer him you did yeah. good that's a perfect fish. hook set. You see the position of that main hook. See, yeah. your smaller fish got the main hook. Right. And yours My got fish the back got hook. the back hook. Yeah, man. Cool. Fire off another cast, man. What are you waiting for? <laughs> well, mid uh, mid afternoon update. We've been uh, at it for quite a while now. Started off with a banger. Got a nice, probably seven pound class fish. I wish we could call it an eight for the bean, but um, we put it on the scale. Probably won't probably won't go eight but that's okay first good fish in the boat for me we've uh, had quite a bit of a, of a lull we've, we've seen a lot of uh, smaller fish kind of swimming around but we're staying focused and that mental focus is one of those things I personally picked up from the mamba part of that mamba mentality and coming out here knowing what I want to accomplish and that was number one catching a, a big fish on a bigger bait for myself and, and putting my man Kenny here on an opportunity and we just executed. We're uh, we're batting a thousand right now, two for two. Hey. So we're not done yet. We got a nice little uh, window of low light. As you can see the sun dropping behind me, uh, we're gonna keep fishing. It's been an incredible day here. I mean, people always make the comment to me like, oh man, I don't know how you can live in California. Hoobity hoo blah. And here I am in late January fishing with my, uh, my man Kenny we're, this is almost shorts weather. I mean, this is t-shirt weather for sure. And we've got big, big aggressive largemouth eating eight inch swim baits. So uh, stay tuned and see what else we can uh, make develop. Hope you guys are having fun, because we are. How goes it? Awesome. Pretty awesome. big smile on your face, bro. Yeah. You work for that bite. Yeah, that's a grind. A lot of focus. That's right, mama mentality. Now man. more than ever. Tell me about that, man. How old are you? 31. So it seems like guys in our 30s really seem to uh, be affected more than I anticipated. Yeah, I mean... Why do you think that is? You know, he was, I guess, the cliche is you, you're young and you, uh, you get ass all the time. Why, you know, who's your hero? And you think about it, yeah, I don't really have a hero. And then, you know, now you think about it, you know, who do you model your stuff after? You know, as a fan of the game, I play the game myself. It's just, you know, now you realize that Kobe Bryant was one of those guys that you, you idolized growing up. He's definitely a hero. I mean, now he's a legend, but, you know, you realize that that is why there was so much impact. And just to his reach, it speaks so many volumes because his reach has gone so far, and you see people that other countries that you'd even know watch basketball that are putting up posts about Kobe Bryant, and it's affected them, or people that you never would have ever thought follow that Kobe Bryant, you know, passed away, and you know, it's, they say it's such a huge impact on their lives growing up. So it's just, it's incredible how much of a reach he's had and it speaks volumes, especially for us, watching them every night, light up the Staples Center with re relentless abandon, just his competitive drive, you know, something that we can all learn from and take after. Yeah. Cheers to that, man. Cheers to Kobe.
you know, it's a real talk. It, it, it's really beyond basketball. And I kind of feel like a lot of the guys in the fishing game are in a similar position, right? If you can influence someone to think a certain way, and that's what Kobe did for me, was he changed my, my way of thinking. First, in basketball, because I grew up playing basketball, and I can relate to that rookie year Kobe when he shot three air balls in a row in the series uh, against the Jazz. And the right corner, shot over Hardy. That's way short. Bryant for the time. Kobe threw up three air balls down the stretch. Utah won by four. Another air ball. And you know how he got heckled and, and really uh, had to hear it in that one of the biggest stages of his life at that point, how he had to come off the bench, didn't get the immediate playing time that the other uh, guys that came straight into the league out of high school did because he he was one of the very first ones. And Dell Harris used to hate on him. Like, let's just be real. So I could relate to that. And I could relate to Kobe Bryant, the basketball player, as he progressed throughout his career and how I could take bits and pieces from that, especially his mental approach, and apply it to my basketball game and like now my fishing game. It's a real thing, man. The biggest difference I feel is your mental approach to however you want to tackle your, your fishing, your, your basketball, your business. It's all the same thing, man. It's all the same thing. You can't teach heart, but you can teach a whole lot of other things. So big up to, in my opinion, the greatest basketball player I've ever watched play. And uh, he impacted a lot of people beyond that. And that's, I think that's why it kind of hurts. Like that, that dude is only a few years older than me. Almost like a older brother figure in the public life. Would you agree? I mean, like... Definitely, definitely agree. Big bro's watching now. Yeah, man. It's too bad he, I didn't really ever see him like doing any fishing like my man Paul George, but... <laughs> we'll, we'll still catch one for him, right? That's we gotta right. get like a legit eight pounder. Yes. Or three for 24. All right, now I'm reaching. <laughs> <laughs> we just need one more fish. Uh, we do need one more fish. Although we're gonna need about a, a 13 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, anything's possible. Stay tuned guys, we're not done yet. Sorry for the rant. Just, you know, it's fresh on the mind, man. It still hurts. It feels good to smile after two and a half days of being bummed out. What a buzzkill. A little bit more it's a little tighter up here on the 1.0 than it is on the the other dream machine but man what a fun fun day couple of big swim bait eaters cute fish bro <laughs> uh, it'll <man>. do <laughs> absolutely we'll get these things back in the water getting kicked off the lake here we probably squeeze another couple casts in i wish this was an eight pounder so we can really uh give it to the mambo on this one man but Big shout out to all the Kobe fans out there. Morning, we did this for, for the man. Nice fish, bro. Let's see that thing one more time. Eight, eight inch swim bait, huh? <laughs> Sweet, look at that belly. I know. Oh, porkers, man. All right. Thanks, honey. Oh, he's ready. Experimenting with uh, fishing heavy braid to a heavy fluorocarbon leader on the slow sinking swim bait in and around shallow cover and I think so far I like the results. Good fish, he's a little beat up, probably been caught before, but a uh, big head, big frame, nice northern stream fish, great way to start the year. Pretty fish, this is what the Aussies like to do, they, they do this weird head down tail up pose so I'll pretend this is a bear money. <laughs> Man, pretty fish, huh? Let's get this thing back in the water. Oh, man. Look at that head. I think it was about a 22, 23 inch fish. Ready, honey? There you go. A little tickle, tickle. She gone. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, 
please subscribe to the Big Bass Dreams channel. Also subscribe to my new channel on YouTube. It's Oliver Nye, my man Kenny. Leave a comment below. What do you guys uh, like about this episode the most? The weather, the topics of conversation, the swim bait fish. Let us know. Turn on your notifications. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Okay, your love's a sword, slicing, gently through my body, burn so sweet, blood boils when you speak. I missed one and hit one, man, that's getting some Two, three, four, five more, come on, that's ripping up The way the bass miss sticking, the way my feet